The intention of this video is to show you how to start up the uh, FastCat system. It's just here in my man cave for right now, but this will be enough to get you going. The first thing you have to do is turn on the Wi-Fi controller. You'll see the very bottom light is blinking wi LAN or wireless LAN, and that's what has to, have to start at the very beginning. The next step is to go over whichever iPad or iPhone you're using and go to settings, Wi-Fi, turn on Wi-Fi, and you'll see Agility Dog Tech. Agility Dog Tech is now on. Its password is timer password, all one word, all lowercase. Once it is started on, we can go back to the main screen and click on uh, FastCat timer that you've already downloaded. You'll see nothing is on at this point. So the way we're going to associate with it is we'll first turn on the starting gate, which is this one. You'll see there are no LEDs. The switch is at the very bottom in the back. It is on. A fast blink means it's looking for Wi-Fi. A slow change blink, red and green, means that it's looking to be aligned. If I go back over to the iPad, you'll see it's not aligned, gate number one, and everything else is off. So I'm going to now go over and turn on the start gate transmitter. And there it will come on. It found that. And you'll see it's a single green light here, meaning go. And I don't know if you can see in the far end there, there's a single green light, meaning it's on. And I come over here and it actually even started running. But you'll see down here the status receiver transmitter. I'll stop it for right now. So now the next thing, after we got that first start gate, and they are labeled, if you look on them, this is a receiver, and it's labeled start gate, and this is a finish gate transmitter. So the next thing we'll do is we'll turn on the finish gate receiver, came on. It's blinking slow, meaning it's now needing to work. Come over here, you'll see gate number two is the receiver. It says it's not aligned. I'm going to stop in the timer again. Then I'll come over here and turn on the finish gate transmitter. It's now on a single green light. Both of those have a single green light on. And we look over here, and it says everything's okay, except for, for some reason, gate number two started the system running. That means that I don't have it quite aligned. So I'm going to go ahead and do some more close alignment. Now one thing that's also true, I can go through these once it started. And you'll see, right there, you'll see that it's blinking, not aligned, on and off, on and off. So let me step out of the way. It's still blinking on. Oh, I see down here it's blinking on and off. Now I turned it, and it's gone straight to green. Everything is okay. I come over here, everything is okay. Now, it will not start once it's been triggered until you hit the ready button. And I'm going to hit the ready button, go over and show you what happens, or you should be able to hear it. It plays a song at the start gate. That means that we're ready to go and break the beams and start the timer. So I'm going to come down here in the middle. I will just break the beam. As I look over here, you'll see that the timer has started. And now I'm going to break the end beam and the timer stopped. Everything's ready to go. Again, if I back up, the time doesn't change because it has to hit the ready first. So again, I'll run through it one more time. I'm going to do a, a ready. You hear that sound. The reason that's done is because it's assuming that the uh, iPad is at the finish 
where it's going to be utilized for the recording the numbers. And that's 300 feet away from the person letting a dog go. That sound lets you know that the dog, that the timer is ready, it's armed, and ready to go. So again, I'll come in here. I will break the beam. See, there we go with the time still running. I'll come across, break the beam again, and it stops. That's as easy as you can make it.